Okay, here's some basic material you need to get started with your mousetrap car. I've got my four eyelets. I've got four different types of wheels that I'm actually going to glue them in to um, my CD. And then, of course, I have my mousetrap that I opened up on the side and extended the arm. I have my base. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have my two frames. And I'm gonna. The first step I'm gonna do is lay those frames out to the width that I want. I already cut my base here for my mouse trap, and I'm gonna glue this on, and I'm gonna glue my mouse trap on. So the next video you'll see will be with my mouse trap, and this is going to be the front of my car. So the arm will be sticking out this way. It will be going that way. This will be the back of my car and my arm will stretch over the back of my axle which is very important. What I'm doing here, what I'm doing here is measuring the distance from my outside frame to outside frame which is 3 and 5 eighths and I should have the same measurement up here. Now depending on how wide you want um, you'll have that. But You notice I've glued this on right here and the next thing I'm going to do is glue my mousetrap on. Now you notice the arm when the spring is loaded is pointed to the front and when I uh, bring it back I'm, it's going to be uh, around the back axles back there so that's what it will look like. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these wheels and put them inside uh, my wheel there to, so I can attach my uh, frames, my axles to the wheels. The next step is probably one of the harder steps. I'm going to take this small clip that I kept from my mouse trap. Okay, I'm going to put my axle in so half of it's sticking out. I'm going to put a small notch in there with the hacksaw. Then I'm going to put this clip on the center of my axle. Okay, And what I'm going to do is squeeze that and twist it and hot glue it so it, there's like a latch on the back of my trap to start my string. This is only your back axle. Okay, This is only for the back axle. Now the first thing I did was cut a little slot in there. Then I took the side of my the side, this side right here of a fire and I just went in there and made a little groove on each side and what I'm hoping is that clip sits down in there a little bit so I can twist it around. That's it. So you can see the size of the notch that I cut in there. Just very small. Probably the next step is to put your eyelets on. I'm going to measure exactly how far up and how far in and I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to put my four eyelets on. These are, this is for my back and then I'm going to do the front as well. So um, these actually you can screw in by hand. Maybe take a little nail and get a starter mark but I would mark that so this is the same height off the ground as this one is over here or you'll have a lopsided car. You have it. I now have my outlets on my top and my bottom for my axle. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is put those that my axles through and I'm going to try to level them out to make sure my car will not turn left or right. So if I hold that up and look at my axle, it looks pretty level going across there. If the one side was up, I would take the one inlet in a little bit. That's all. For my back axle, I'm going to take the clip, take a pair of pliers, and I'm going to twist it on there as hard as I can and put a little bit of hot glue to secure it. But you notice it's in the middle of my axle and this axle will go in the back the furthest away from the mouse trap. Very important, put your axle in, especially the one in the back, before you put your wheels on. Because you can't put your wheel on, you have that clip that will not go through these little eyelets. Very important, put that in first. Next thing you want to do is get some sandpaper and shine that up. You notice the difference between this side, all rusted, and this side over here that I just sanded with some sandpaper. You have to be very delicate putting these wheels on. I'd recommend putting my balloons on first even before I glued it. 
this glue will come off of this CD really easy and your wheels will break. So don't pound them on or anything like that. But that's what it should look like now. That's my back end right there. And now I'm just going to put my wheels on the front end. Next, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my arm for my mousetrap. And I'm going to use a roller, okay, which you have to come up with something at home. It depends how long, but the roller works perfect for me because when it's brought back over and when it's attached, okay, it will be right on top of my back axle. That's how I designed my car to be a 12 inch roller, and that's why I made my car frame that length. Probably one of the hardest things to do is to be able to attach this arm to extend your arm and to keep it secure. I'm going to use, you notice I drilled a hole through this uh, roller. I'm going to bring that mouse trap up. I clipped it. Also, I'm using duct tape and I'm going to use some wire. That has to be real secure wrapped around there. That has to be an extension of that arm. It just can't uh, be flimsy or it'll never work and you're going to put some torque on this right here. So you notice I used the full length almost of the mousetrap, but I can't interfere with the spring hatch here. Very important. To test my design, I'm going to put the clip back on, and I should be able to pull this back, and there should be very little give in that mousetrap. And you notice it's just an extension of that arm. It doesn't bend or anything. I can look right down at it, that's exactly how I want it to work. I do not want to hit the front of the ground here, and it's just an arm on that trap, which is perfect, so my idea worked here. My mouse trap is almost complete. What I have to do is now create a string with a loop that will hook on there, and it will extend to the front. The key is, is when this loop is free. It must be shorter than the back axle. If not, it will stay on it. I want it to release. So I'm going to do my loop first, very important, and then I'll come back to show you how to tie the front. Make a loop in the back. To make a loop, take the string, make it, there it is, tie it, put the loop through the hole, so I have it. Put the loop back through the hole. You should be able to do this. And just go like that. And there's your loop. That's the first thing. That is going to go around the back clip. Very important. Do this first. I want this back loop to extend about right here. So that means if I follow the string, this is how long I want it. I want to secure. I'm going to come up here and secure that string just about that distance. I'm going to put it through that hole and I'm going to tie my knot. Okay, you notice I have my knot tied up front. When I pull this string and it's tight, that loop is in front of my back axle. That's very important. So when the mouth strap releases, it releases off of that back axle and that back wheel will continue to go. And there's your mouth strap. All right. And it's Friday on a two hour early release. You guys got to go home. And if we look at the clock and zoom in, it is 2.09, so I built that car in about less than an hour. There it is all wound up around the back axle. Now I'm just going to take it out in the hallway and see if it will work. And it's going to release and hopefully 